Well, good morning, everyone. I'm David Paul, the Managing Director of VectorVest in the UK. And uh, an important uh, morning, I think, in markets. Uh, uh, the financial world was waiting on that US inflation number uh, that came out yesterday afternoon at about half past one hour time. Uh, it came out slightly lower than expected at 8.5%, significantly lower than it was in June. However, uh, 8.5 is a long way from their target of 2%, uh, but uh, it would seem to be uh, going uh, the right way. Uh, and uh, uh, that was very good for markets because the belief is that uh, the Fed won't have to be as hawkish on rates. And certainly there was a panic uh, after the number to buy the market yesterday afternoon. So uh, if we have a look at the UK market, and that's our a vector vest summary of the UK market. Uh, it's a summary uh, that allows people to tell whether the market is rising or falling on many time frames uh, without having to look at any charts. Charts are not for everybody. Uh, and as you can see, two most important words are up and up under trend. Uh, that means that the first word means that the short term trend is up of the UK market. And the second word uh, means that the underlying trend is up. And to the right, we've got a thing called the call. Uh, and that's the longest term measure of the trend. It's called a confirmed up. Uh, and it's in place. And the confirmed up is no more uh, than the underlying trend confirmed by two weeks price action. So as we go into the trading day today, pretty much everything uh, is up. And the breadth of the market uh, expanded significantly yesterday with our proprietary buy-sell ratio uh, moving up uh, to 1.66. Uh, 1.66 shares more uh, on a vector vest buy than on a sell. So we uh, let's have a look at the charts. This is the chart that I presented last week, in fact, on here. Uh, this is a chart of the vector vest composite and equally weighted index of uh, all of the shares we follow in the UK. <clears throat> and that's since COVID. And you can see the COVID collapse, uh, the run up and uh, the pullback that's uh, occurred and been reflected in most of our accounts during the course of the year. I always liked that pullback because it was occurring in what technicians refer to as a falling wedge. We seem to have broken through that falling wedge uh, and uh, that's a very, very positive chart. However, ladies and gentlemen, invariably they go back and kiss that upper trend line, that upper falling trend line that in fact defines the wedge. So I wouldn't be at all surprised after uh, the news came in yesterday that we get several days, maybe a couple of weeks of backfilling. So that you need to prepare yourself for. Uh, uh, there we've got the uh, US uh, market direction. And as you can see, uh, that's again since COVID. Uh, and you can see how the market, in fact, came back, kissed the COVID, the, the high just before COVID, pulled back in what technicians would refer to as a three wave pattern and is pushing up strongly, uh, as you can see. And we'll see clearly from the next chart, which is a daily chart, a blow up of uh, the previous chart over the last, what, six or seven months, uh, we can see that the market's sitting exactly on resistance. And the same thing goes for the US market. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see that the news is in. I think we'll probably break that level. And then I think we'll probably get uh, a couple of weeks of backfilling. Uh, so, uh, and that's quite common. Let's hope it just moves up in straight lines, but normally they go back and kiss. Uh, so I've got some suggestions for you. I like Tongela. Uh, the share has been very, very good for me. I own a position in it on two continents. I've got it on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange and I've got it here. Uh, it's undervalued by VectorVest. As you can see, the uh, earnings per share, which is that blue line in the window uh, below the price, the thick green line is our valuation, significantly undervalued. Uh, it's on a buy recommendation. And if you look in detail at the price and volume relationships, you'll see that price is rising uh, and uh, volumes are rising. And that's always a good sign. Uh, many people would like to wait for it to break that last high. 
but uh, I'm in already and it's going okay. Uh, uh, second is also an energy stock, Capricorn energy. I think gold, uh, gold coal, uh, uh, oil should move up from here. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see the oil market get up to about 105, 106 in the next three to five weeks. Uh, Capricorn energy is significantly undervalued. And as these earnings came in, you can see the vector based program revalued the stock. Uh, it would seem to be trading uh, a cup and handle type pattern. And if you look again, uh, you can see that the price advanced and volume moved up significantly. And now as the price is going sideways, uh, th there's no sellers there, folks. So that looks like uh, a high probability event. Undervalued, growing earnings strongly, uh, price is rising, volume is rising. It's on a VectorVest buy recommendation. And the fundamental story on VectorVest is incredibly good. Uh, Ecofin, you know, this is a small investment trust that uh, invests in companies all over the world. Uh, we believe it's significantly undervalued, as you can see, earnings uh, rising, uh, rising quite strongly. And again, although it's not that liquid, uh, it in fact uh, is showing a very good and positive price and volume relationship. Uh, now, as you can see, the price broke and then it came back and kissed twice. Uh, and uh, it charted a double bottom at the old resistance and now is broken up. It's broken the last highs. It's on the buy recommendation. I don't think it's going to shoot the lights out, but it's going to provide a uh, nice steady, uh, but maybe unremarkable capital growth. Uh, the sort of thing we need in this environment. Uh, this is Green Coat UK Wind. Uh, I'm clearly a doze what it says on the tin, folks. Uh, uh, again, uh, undervalued, that's that thick green line. Uh, earnings per share is rising strongly. Price and volume relationships are good. Uh, and it would seem to have broken up uh, through that 52 week high. Uh, previously, it broke and came back and kissed. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see it come back and kiss that uh, previous top. But uh, that looks like a, uh, it'll uh, give a steady capital growth over the next little while. And then finally, uh, Caledonia Investments, uh, uh, another investment trust. The investment trust, I think, is about 100 years old. Um, and uh, it uh, is doing its best to try and break that uh, downsloping uh, trend line that defines that little triangle that I've drawn. This is a weekly view going back to 2020. Uh, and uh, uh, undervalued growing earnings strongly. Uh, it's on a buy recommendation. The general market is rising uh, and that's where I want to be. Uh, so uh, those are some stocks that I think uh, are worthy of your attention over the next little while. Uh, don't be surprised folks if the market in fact on both sides of the Atlantic breaks up for the next couple of days. Um, still on the back end of the uh, CPI number and then goes back and kisses. Uh, if you assume that most previous resistance, uh, when it breaks, it's then tested. I think that you'll not be far from uh, what happens most of the time. Uh, anybody that wants to kick the tires of VectorVest, uh, then um, if you go to vectorvest.co.uk, uh, then you can take a 30-day trial of VectorVest for about a fiver, and that'll allow you to actually analyze exactly and objectively uh, every stock in the VectorVest world, some 18,000 stocks for uh, value, safety and predictability of earnings, and the trend. And then importantly, you'll be able to look and uh, be able to make a judgment objectively of whether the overall market is rising or falling. I personally want to find shares that are undervalued, that are growing earnings strongly, that are rising in price on a buy recommendation. And I want to be very aggressive in the market when the market is rising. And I want to be very, very careful and timid when the general market is falling. So I hope you find that useful, folks. Uh, thanks very much indeed.